Hey, in this video, I want to show you how I created this golf hole in VR, virtual reality, using Gravity Sketch and brought that into Lumion. So I start with my SketchUp model here, and this is just kind of me testing my initial approach at this. So I haven't quite perfected the process, but I started with the SketchUp model. It's all 2D flat, but I've got the course laid out. So I go in and check just a small section of it because I don't want to bring the entire thing into Gravity Sketch. It might overwhelm the system. So I'm going to delete out a bunch of um, this excess stuff and just focus on a couple of the golf holes here and maybe just one of them. So one thing that I noticed was I tried to import the flat 2D um, OBJ into Gravity Sketch and it did not come in very well at all. So I tried to extrude it each little um, section here you can see they're all individual pieces and you'll notice later that extruding these I should have extruded them at a little bit different heights maybe make the greens a foot higher than the fairways and these sand traps maybe a foot lower and then the boundary um, out of bounds area maybe even lower than that that way it would have given me some height differential um, when I bring it into gravity sketch so I've got some a little object here and I'm going to export that as an OBJ model. We'll save this. I'm going to export only the current selection and say OK and export. Alright, so now that we have this, I want to move this into my import library folder for Gravity Sketch. So I'm going to copy this over. You can see it's only like less than three megabytes, which is great. So let's copy this into here. I'm going to close all this and open up Gravity Sketch. And it's good to just go ahead and copy over everything before you um, open the sketch because you have to leave your file. You have to exit out and then go back in for it to bring in any kind of imported objects. So there's the import library. Load that. Um, I'm going to open up the scale gizmo and I want to adjust it down in scale. Now I'm doing do everything in feet. I probably may go back and change the scale inside SketchUp to meters. That way when I scale it into this, everything can um, line up later and we'll have to see. But you can see how there's a variety of different surfaces here, but they're all meshed into one. It's hard to tell where the fairway is versus where the greens are and all that kind of stuff. So if you zoom in, I don't know why it turns to black when you zoom too far out, but anyway, so I'm going to focus on building. These are a couple little sand traps here. So I'm going to build a sand trap here and then um, do a little bit of just a little area to set up that image that you saw from the very beginning. So I'm going to start with just a curved surface and put that in and then convert it to a sub D and start editing that surface. So once I get this in, I'll speed up the process and just uh, work on creating these surfaces.
Okay, so I think this is about the view that I had and that I want to, uh, so I'm gonna s export this out. I'm gonna save this as random name and it creates a little zip file for us. So we'll leave gravity sketch, we'll drag this into another folder and uh, extract all the files from this. You get the OBJ and a material file. So I'm gonna import that back into uh, sketch up here so we'll do it we'll use a sim lab importer for obj and import that and go full and there we go all right so you see when this comes in it's got the zy flipped so we need to first rotate that 90 degrees which is no big deal but the scale is kind of a big deal and it's it's way off so I have to figure out the best approach for um, taking this object out of SketchUp and into Gravity Sketch and then bring it back in at the proper scale. And it may just be as simple as converting this to metric before I export it out. That way when I bring it in, I can scale it to uh, regular proportions, not trying to tr translate between metric and imperial. So I'll just move this down into a rough position. And for this for this test, it doesn't really matter that much where I put it, but I'm just gonna kind of scale it a little bit. And the view I picked, I kind of hit everything else anyway. But I'll bring this up. Once I get this in the, the right scale, I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna send it to Lumion to add the materials and some uh, landscape stuff. So I'll use the Lumion um, plugin, synced, sync plugin. Once I move this here. All right, so we'll hit start sync, live sync. This was called Lumion live sync. Okay, so now we got it in here. You can see it brought in the 2D um, SketchUp stuff really well. You can see the differentiation between materials and I've got my one curved mesh surface here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna set up a view really quick. And now we will go back to the build and I'll add some uh, landscape and materials to this. So we'll start with the grass, add like a 3D grass here, something with some stripes. to be cut way down from the fairway. Adjust all this to look like golf course grass here. to this have you know the fringe area the rough area then some beyond um, beyond all that where you could focus on just creating kind of the course and then marry everything up to that mesh inside of SketchUp once you've got the uh, the contour of the actual course and then not focus on uh, building everything outside of the course from gravity sketch but we'll add sand to the sand trap and then see what it looks like once we add some trees.
Okay, so here we are. I think we got um, enough to test this. I'm gonna export a JPEG rendering and we'll see what it looks like. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, pretty easy to create the topo and stuff inside Gravity Sketch and then export that into Lumion. So hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.